y'all, Gamer here, and welcome to the Rap Battle Awards. I am your host, Just Gamer. I am honored to be here with you all tonight. And by you all, I mean this empty lecture hall that we are pre-recording in and playing this back to you live. If you are here in the live stream, great to have you here. We have an amazing show tonight for you with lots of awards, presenters, and a little something in between. <laughs> Uh, before we begin, I would just like to give a special shout out to Freshy Canal, who helped me put this show together, who helped me contact a lot of the presenters. Uh, shout out to a couple of my friends as well, like Shmario and Special Inquisitor Ryan. Uh, they helped me work out the concept for this show and have just been great supportive friends during this whole process. So thank you to you two as well. Without further ado, Let's just get into our first award of the night. Our first award is Best Writing. And for this, we have an amazing presenter for you. Uh, it is the maker of the series Chisel This, an icon of the general community, and one of the most well-known writers uh, that I have seen from this community. He really needs no introduction. It is Matt Forio. Take it away, Matt. <laughs> Yo, I'm Matt Forio. I became so fascinated with using rap as a mechanism for creative writing that I started making my own songs and even dedicated a web series to critically analyzing others. It amazes me how we can use words with a finite amount of meanings and combine them in an infinite amount of ways. Through writing, you can spur the imagination to generate visuals that actual images just can't. And with that being said, here are the nominees for Best Writing in 2023. Grunkle Stan vs. Saul Goodman, Eddie FRB. Bigfoot vs. The Big Bad Wolf, Adam DRB. Better listen closely, homie. I'm built like a brick wall, ain't no joke, B. So feel free to blow me. Notorious B I G F double O T. Elon Musk versus Mike Ermintrout. Snakebite 126. And not even Trump would re enter your sight with a self assured guy with his hands. Man, I tried to bring free speech back to the web and then cried after everyone used it to type it, but how much is technics is fine? Patrick Bateman versus Sweeney Todd. Until I can Little Flex. I'm Patrick Bateman, I take it you'll understand. If I keep my gloves on when I'm shaking your hand, you reek of disease and live in people's feces. And yet you're the biggest shit that I've seen on Flint Street. Phantom vs. Nightmare Buzz. Commander Jacob. Making you return to your dreamscape. With an even more green face. Make sure the asleep great. Where's the deeper than deep slate? We put the and has been Hotel vs. Hotel Mario, Gaming Plus 64. The real sin is your pilot got off the ground. Oh. I've been dropping undead bums since Ludwig. Shut up, slug. Mario's nothing to fuck with. And the winner for best writing in 2023 is Eddie FRB with Grunkle Stan vs. Saul Goodman. Congratulations, Eddie, and never put that pen down. Congratulations one more time to Eddie. That is probably his first win of many tonight, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, before we move on to our next award, I would just like to take this time to give shout outs to people who I think uh, have been pretty integral to the community uh, during this past year, but uh, might not get a lot of mentions during our award show tonight. And uh, my first shout out is going to Chosiah Games TV. You might know them as Eric Andre for Fight Marker, or uh, from their new series, One Hour Rap Battles. But they are an amazing reactor. They are so much fun to watch. They have such an amazing personality, such an energetic personality. It is a joy to watch them react to our content. And yeah, they cover so much content. It's such a pleasure to have someone like Josiah as a part of the community. So shout out to you, Josiah. Thank you for reacting to our dumb, silly little rap battles. All right, moving on. Our next award is Best Audio, and it is my pleasure to introduce the G-O-A-T herself, Kurobane Azia. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Kurubane Asia, and I'm here to present the award for Best Rap Battle Audio from 2023. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a singer, voice actor, and streamer who found my start in this community in 2016. You may have heard me in recent battles like Nesuko vs. Power or Marionette vs. Salad Fingers. As a part of this community, I know that rap battles are truly brought to life through their audios. From the work of the voice actors and mixers, the beat and instruments, and just the general vibe and direction all play into a battle's audio. And these nominees are the best of the best in combining the elements together. The nominees are SpongeBob SquarePants vs. Captain Underpants by Eddie FRB. <laughs> Jinko Enoshima vs. Jinx by Freshy Canal. Mandela Catalog vs. Marble Hornets by Local Rap Battles. If you search for me, be advised and keep inside unless you want to end up looking more fucked than your CGI. Yes, I make the lens glitch and fill the roles with static screens. Oh, with your early works, you've only been working with static screens. The Spot vs. Polka Dot Man by Swizzki. Alexander the Great vs. Genghis Khan by Discord Rap Battles. A plague only shit in your races. The easy boss breaking a nation. But leading them anywhere but their own base. Then you shut up your legacy, Alex the Great. And finally, Baldi vs. Mr. Mix by Danny Frias. Fucking horror game needs must actually be scary. Why? Rap this. I'm good with the spinning at 666 kisses per minute. Is it you're so scary by hearing me? Be just so. Oh, Mr. Me. And the winner is, drumroll please, SpongeBob SquarePants vs. Captain Underpants by Eddie FRB. Congratulations, Eddie. You deserve it. Great job, Eddie. That is your second win out of two so far. Oh boy. But uh, to move on <laughs> from that, my next shout out is going to Dilly, who is behind a couple of the mega popular hits that reached outside of the community. Uh, you might have seen on your TikTok feed William Afton versus Mr. Krabs. Um, I would recite one of the lines, but I am on campus and I am not risking that. But yeah, Dilly is honestly a lot younger than I am and has achieved so much in their time here has been here for a very long time and it is very impressive to see what they've done so shout out to you Dilly keep being great man moving on to our next category it is best beat producer slash best original beat and uh, here we have our next guest presenter Kiwi uh, who you might know from some of Dustin Cyphers but I'll let them introduce themselves a bit more Hey everyone, my name is Kiwi, and I'm here with the award for Best Original Beat. Some of you may or may not know me, but I've worked with Freshie in the past um, with projects like Ghost Rap Cypher and the Fairy Tale Rap Cypher, I think. But enough about me. In the past, there has been a category for Best Beat Integration, um, with out of community producers being nominated. But since the FRB community has had so much talent, um, we are now able to solely dedicate this award to the in community beat makers themselves. The nominees are Santa vs. Satan by Glitch Dude. Mandela Catalog vs. Sonic.exe by Gameplush64. Spot vs. Polka Dot Man by Swizzki. Machine Gun Kelly vs. Fred Durst by Vinio. Dr. Eggman vs. Jack Horner by Freshy Canal. <laughs> M. 
and Earthbound vs. Katamari by Enway. And the award goes to Mandela Catalog vs. Sonic.exe by GamePlush64. Congratulations. Congratulations once more to GamePlush64 for his win on Best Original Beat. Moving on, the next person I would like to give a shout out to is one of my great friends, Snakebite126. If you've been following his community posts, he's had a bit of a rough year uh, during 2023. But I would just like to say that from myself and the rest of the community that we really appreciate him. He is insanely funny, insanely creative, insanely talented, insane in general. And yeah, you were one of uh, the first people I collaborated with. And, you know, instantly I think we connected. And it's so great to see how amazing you are and how amazing your content is. Uh, please give us more Love Doctor content. I, I'm, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Alright, moving on to our next category. It is one of our eight nomination categories, one of the bigger ones here. We have Best Audio Performance. Very intense category. And for that, we have what I can only describe as a very intense presenter. Um, keep in mind, some of the jokes from this upcoming presenter uh, may be a bit much for you uh, there is no real way to intro that there is no real way for me to give a super great warning but yeah keep that in mind as we get mcguire hello esteemed members of the rap battle community my name is mcguire don't mind that i'm wet i'm just wet hot and sticky for today's <laughs> today's candidate <coughs> Fuck! Today, I will be presenting the best performance in an audio... I tried to, like, format this like an Oscar. It's best audio performance. Um, I've got a bit of experience with audio performing because I've been in many audio porns. The nominees for best audio performance are Luke Reardon as Dr. Eggman. My will always be your missing guard. I'm done whizzing on the moon, now I'm pissing on your wishing star. You're not as subtle as a baby brown bear, so get Amy down from there, Mr. Lazy Town Air. I'm running out of pace, not even the speed of sound airs. Don't you stare down with me, you can't make it downstairs. RNG as Genghis Khan. The burn Hellenist from Pella will get hella pissed. Winner tell them what they missed, fella you're a myth. Storytelling is a element, five foot kid. Shinja living off a quick power trip for the hell of it. Freshy Canal as Amleth. No, I am its treasure! Are you the best your daddy is sending? Is he this weekend the clap it? It seems he's only descended with his descendants in a dream of what the prophecy meant when it said the future and death with Blanco's head cleanly severed. You had what dreams of a desert. And little flex is Patrick Bateman. Take out your blades, let the state see who's greater. Either way, you'll end up with your fucking face in newspapers. There's an idea, Sweeney Todd, but he's all bark and no bite. Just a husk of a frog who lost his show, wife, and life. Also, you underestimate my tenacity. Oh my god, there's so many. Tibby as Isaac. You underestimate my tenacity. I will never lose it. Asia as the marionette. And Commander Jacob as Mouse AVI. Oh, there's more. Quizical. Qu Quizic you? Quizic you. Quizic you as Gabriel. No one's checked, you're not there. They found us instead. If you want to escape me, Carpe D, I'm just you better than Dave did when you start to speak. Up. You can run your mouth about how you can harness speed, but looking at my mass attendance, you can hardly keep up. I fucked that up real bad. I'm not a, I'm not a part of this community. I'm part of the anime rap community, so. 
if you have any complaints at at Daddy Fat Snaps directly. And the winner is Little Flex. Little Flex. He wants to be the next SNL cast member. Did you know that? Little Flex, you win. Little Flex, you did it. Little Flex is Patrick Bateman, a white boy's dream. You did it. I hope you make it on SNL. Ladies and gentlemen, McGuire. <laughs> and also, uh, Fell, congratulations for your win on Patrick Bateman. <laughs> Oh God, I I really, when I first received that presenter video, I just, I couldn't bring myself to watch it twice. So, <laughs> anyway, moving on. My next shout out is going to fucking the man himself, uh, Danny Frias and the Misfits actually as an extension. Uh, Danny and the Misfits are fucking entertaining as hell. Uh, if you haven't seen the Misfits reaction videos, they're great. They apologize to white people a lot. It's a fun time. And Danny himself has made a lot of really funny rap battles uh, this past year. And so, to their hilarity, uh, thank you, Danny and the Misfits. For our next category, we are moving on to video stuff, starting aptly with best video. And for this, uh, we don't have a big name guest per se, but we have someone who I think is arguably funnier. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the creator of PowerPoint Rap Battles, Theme Park Avenue. Hello everyone, it's Eric with a new ranking video. Today, I am ranking the six nominees for best video in the Rap Battle Awards. Okay, that's not true. I'm not ranking anything. I'm just here to announce the winner because of all people out there, I was asked to talk about the best video. But in all seriousness, 2023 had some exceptional videos. New high points in live action, animation, and PNG editing all came out, with many creators making their best videos yet, and some of the very best rap battle videos of all time being in 2023 and I am very excited to be announcing the winner. Before I do, a refresher on the nominees for those who filled out the form a month ago or whenever that was. The nominees are My Bloody Valentine vs. The Leprechaun, edited by Fightmarker, RNG, and Rabbi, Salad Fingers vs. The Marionette, edited by Gaming Plush 64 Katamari vs. Earthbound, edited by Triple Stabber, Paul vs. Amleth, edited by Freshy Canal, Mario vs. Link, edited by Triple Stabber, Shimario, RNG, and Sir Rap Battles. And The Intruder vs. Max Headroom Incident, edited by Rabbi. And the winner is... Salad Fingers vs. The Marionette. Congratulations, Patrick. And congratulations to everyone who helped edit some of the exceptional videos from last year. I'll see you next time. Congratulations once more to Patrick on your second win of the night for my next shout out i am going to praise mason g if you don't already know uh mason does a lot of more behind the scenes work and it's just a general like community guy he's the the perfect person for me to use the term community guy on he is like he's always here he's always doing stuff for battle of the month even though realistically we haven't asked him he does it because he's very passionate about the community and for someone who realistically isn't making rap battles he is one of the most passionate people i've seen about our community and you know that's just part of the life force of it so thank you mason for being part of what keeps this community alive next category is best editor uh different to i thought i should specify different to best video where best video is about more of a general vibe or more of a general achievement sometimes with multiple editors which is why we make that distinction best editor here is about the you know single best editor who have shown their abilities and skills uh, pretty much like no other and for that we have one of the best editors rap battles have seen in general uh from erb himself it is javi <laughs>
Hi, this is Javi Sanchez Blanco, and I would like to present the winner for Best Rap Battle Editor of 2023. The nominees are Robbie for Eyeless Jack versus Laughing Jack. Try to make a kid happy, the attic got locked. It ain't a way at your loneliness like Jack in the box. As you were so touch starved, took the drunkie and split him. The shit is child's play like taking candy from your victims. White marker for Annoying Orange versus OJ Simpson. I only call James Simpson and those allegations are hoax. They only call me the juice cause you know I got the flow. I applaud Mr. Orange's team, but they all better rush out. Cause since 2010, Dangbo has never scored touchdowns. All the famer movie star, athlete and RNG for Tifa Lockhart versus the Max Headroom incident. Won't be excused when I'm doing this dude it. Shame your first attempt made a gloomy end. Got your fun cut short with WGN. Then you made the headlines in Chicago, but at what cost? Wanted all of mankind to see you as a fraud. Shimario for Santa versus Satan. Gaming Plush 64 for Jevil versus Bill Cipher. And Power of Dan for Henry Tudor versus Sky. I set out to accomplish my aims, remaining a king and defending my reign. For the pretend is saying that they've got a claim, they had turned my terrain and I left them all slain. But you! You had a single task and you blew it, could it kill some of you, but it left you in ruins. You were ruling over lions that were loving you, intrusive, so they led a revolution, finally ripping you a new one! And the winner is Gaming Plush 64. Congratulations. Enjoy your work. Congratulations to Patrick for his third win of the night. Moving on to our shout out. This one I would like to give to one of the nominees for the past category, Power of Dan. Um, if you don't already know, Dan is going to leave the community at some point this year. And I would just like to take this moment to say thank you to Dan for being one of the hardest workers in this entire community. Uh, he is also oh talented, like I said, also oh hardworking. He edits for so many people, he does so many edits, and he is always, you know, putting in effort. I <laughs> and yeah, I cannot overstate how grateful I am that we have had the chance to work with Dan uh, and have him as a part of this community. So, thank you, Dan. Moving on, we have another pretty big category. It is Best Artist. And for this, we have um, not someone who's, I don't know how new they are to art, but uh, someone who I would like to recognize for their art ability presenting this award, uh, Snake by 126. So here he is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Snake by 126. Uh, I'm currently in prison, but uh, they gave me five minutes to record this video, so. Uh, gotta be quick. Um, so today I'm going to be announcing the best artist of 2023 in the rap battle community. Who did the best art in a rap battle? Pretty self-explanatory. So without further ado, here are the nominations. First of all, we have Triple Stabber for Steve versus The Engineer. We have LP Turtles for Genghis Khan versus Alexander the Great. We got Enzo for Jinko Enoshima versus Jinx. We got Valenide for The Lamb vs. Isaac. We got Quagga for Jack Horner vs. Frieza. We got Byron for Modoc vs. Melvin Sneedley. We got Luke Reardon for Mr. Krabs in Afton vs. Mr. Krabs. And we got Skitsy for Jack Horner vs. Dr. Eggman. All very solid picks, but there can only be one winner. And that winner is... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Triple Stabber! Congratulations! You you really killed it this year. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, I gotta go back to prison now, so I will see you all next year. Bye! Congratulations to Trip for winning uh, 
but it, and with some very fucking impressive art. But yeah, on to my shout out here. This is a purely personal one, but my next shout out is going to Raisu. If you don't already know Raisu, they are an up and coming community member who is making what I think are some very entertaining battles. Uh, I am always rooting for Raisu uh, to hit that next level of success. So shout out to you, Raisu. Keep fucking grinding. Please, please eventually change your name from Rice Battle. Thank you. <laughs> For our next category, ladies and gentlemen, we have Best Animator. And uh, for this, we have a very, very special presenter. Uh, Winnie the Pooh voicer, and among many other things, Dubis Goobis. Hey, everyone. I'm Dubis Goobis, and I've been asked to present the award for Best Animator of 2023. They could have picked somebody who remembers the principles of animation, but I just draw whatever the fuck looks funny, so I'm sorry that I am- this is not a good choice. With that aside, it is my honor, my honor, to put a spotlight on both the amazing 2D and 3D animators that this community has seen last year. The nominees are... Luke Reardon for SpongeBob in SpongeBob SquarePants versus Captain Underpants. You get more dirty minded after getting brainwashed. You fight for all that is pre shrunk and cottony. I'm black, really cute. Now that's dirty laundry. I met a bunch of heroes and I gotta say they're stronger than the Super Zero who all has a second. Robot Richie for Paperboy in The Rock versus Paperboy versus Edward Scissorhands. I bet you fear me now, huh? Obituary. I'm simple here to fill up tomorrow's obituary. Put down the protein shakes and spend a lunch with your babies. The watch all of us call them the style of sun in you daily. Boom! BMB, aka Byron for Bigfoot versus the Big Bad Wolf. Old lady said you for crude, got me puking. You stole her crude bit. Here's what the truth is: act like a nuisance, dress like a human. You can talk the talk, but can never fill my shoes, bitch. Triple Stabber for Creeper versus Among Us. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. This monster was perfectly fine. Actually, what if you bought to be less in the blast? Really, I only cause minor penalty. I let tragedies wipe the living cube surfaces up to ignite calamities. You can play the rock type of strategy and live in outside in the galaxy. Every for Super Horse versus Awk Warrior. Go spin discs so wicked against his critter that's vintage. There's no need to pull the plug when he's already sinking. Don't try to seal the wind when all your copies are misused. Seems stealing from other heroes is your biggest issue. And Gaming Plus 64 for Salad Fingers versus the Marionette. Your rapping's rusty. I hope it doesn't rub off on me. I said I write hard to hit, but it seems you're the opposite. I suppose it's no surprise that Lefty is non dominant. And the winner is. Luke Reardon for drawing a sponge real good, baby. Congratulations to Luke Reardon on your win. Amazing work, man. Uh, we are about the midway point of this show right now, so we are going to uh, have ourselves a quick break. And But for those of you staying here to watch the premiere during this break, um, I have something to show you or to entertain you in the meantime. Uh, we have the first video of Danganronpa Month 2 slash the Danganronpa Saga to show you all here. If you're shaking in disappointment at your device, I am very very sorry but when we return we will get more of the uh awards we have some big categories coming up such as best video performance funniest battles and of course battle of the year so uh stick around for that but in the meantime allow me to premiere what will be going up on the channel immediately after the premiere is done rng versus makoto naegi enjoy FRB versus anything. RNG versus Makoto Naegi. 
spigot. Gamer, we're bros, but you're gonna get me laughing if my matchup is the grandest bitch on the list of the y'all protagonists. Wait, I demanded this. I'm such a moron. Well, you may not be Leon, but you're still in for a battering. It doesn't matter if you're bringing your friends with more. Dabby Snogito is soap. Stepping stone, you're more the doorstep. Face me in a verbal trial and you'll get your ass clapped. But if you insist, it's time for a rap clap. You can fight Marker, my job. I fight Lushat, that's my Koto. But still, Sas Lotto and his classmates all died one by one before his eyes. So kill yourself. That is impossible, there can't be a new victim In fact, the only evidence there is that he even existed Is bitching about editing, game memes, and caring way too much about a show me for babies Tell him, my idea. Stop with all the rhetoric, you're not hot shit Every time you take the mic, you walk back in the closet Then you drop it, and it becomes your top it Those keyframes lead to after effects being where you're bought to Take down the ultimate despair, some kid I can handle When the only things that you can take down are shitty battles So try finding talent in something that isn't such lame shit Seems you have no anchor point the way all of your lines are based you're fucked, Makoto you're out of luck, Makoto A character arc might fix the fact you suck, Makoto You just being alive nearly killed Kyoko But maybe with those tears you can learn to flow Some more good lines can be discovered For once it could be yours And I'd say I did your mother But I wouldn't fuck a corpse Titles ultimate plot armor with alter ego there It's sparing you Tell me you'll step in now to save this careless doofus Mary Sue No, that's wrong Don't try to downplay my accomplishments Just cause those incompetent football players We got shit so miss Speaking of miss How a battle those deadlines It's your ability to reason your way out of things best mind You know seem on your battle so much the trainer switch names with gamer cuz your humor just gets slow call back to bigger creators begging for roles cuz you can't cover up a loss of being editing bro your moral high ground's not existed you can't use it to win when you're the poster boy for a series filled with pedo shit and then set your hopes up pro tag shit and just get the fuck out cuz dumbass bitch Makoto is finally out of luck now truth will get destroyed what you think is a dumb lore let's you play Ryoma cuz you always come up short there you go no more rules cuz you're finally getting muted you're the track I'm the black and it's on me who's executed who won Who's next? You decide. FRB versus anything. And we are back. Hope you all got a chance to do what you needed to during that break. But all right, we are now back with one of our biggest categories of the night, best video performance. And for this, we could not have picked a better person, I think, than someone who knows video presence, knows camera presence, knows stage presence, all of that hubbub. Please join me in welcoming the legend, the stupendium. Good evening. My name is The Stupendium, and in my line of work as a niche fandom content creator online, I'm no stranger to playing a wide variety of colorful and wacky characters. So it is my honor to present this evening the award for best video performance. The nominations are as follows. Cry as the Max Head from Hijacker. <laughs> RNG as Filthy Frank. Oh, then fuck her, I'm your goat seat. Yeah, fuck you, you man. You fucked him more times than he has. This is my rap battle. Fuck off to the right field with the rest. Losing a rap battle? You should kill yourself. Oh, yeah. Do it, like right now. Fight Marker as Laughing Jack. How'd you get so iconic there, Buster? Yeah. Maybe because of Mr. Creepypasta, I wonder. Or maybe you're playing some of the characters, what they want to see. A cookie cutter, current copy, Jeff the Killer, what? Awesome as the angry video game nerd. I'm take you to the past. All your shit ever misses like you're built for the NES. The lovely was so shit for James killed though his fucking friend. My arrow was fed the suicide content that your dickless fans watch. They run around Freddy Krueger, fucking give them a hand job. Raccoon Bro VA as Fred Figglehorn. She just told your whole story because you're just a freaking criminal. Like, holy freight, we have the same day. Fresh 
Shashi Kanal as J. Edgar Hoover. This is after your play, barely. Someone take this hard lady off stage. I kick the women out the bureau. And all I'll say is that she keep these bras off Broadway. All the girls copying your fashion kits. So much plastic, you're like a fucking gay the medicate. Just the point that you're out for with a stereo. The real George kept it on it. God bless America. Oh, hi, I'm Jesse Box as Regina George. You're seven weeks pregnant, or you need to hit the fucking treadmill, you fat pig. You never got hitched. That explains the angst, cause that double chin's only getting late in state. You get the bucket and the whole country grieve for a moment, then the lake started flooding and the water gates open. Oh. And Snakebite126 and Dummy Duck. Hold a kid, you're a game around to say it's all okay, because family trauma can't just wash away. You put time dug on your hidden those walls, you stayed, then the cracks were gone, but not gone from your brain. You're black for all his pain, cause your grandma dead. Trying to mask it up a shade for your damn pa's death. And now we're at your other main Avengers hat shot left. Your skills at acting on display with how you went, not wrecked. A huge congratulations to all of the nominees, and I am now thrilled to present the winner. The winner of the award for best video performance goes to RNG for their performance as Filthy Frank. Congratulations. Right, where do I send the invoice? Congratulations to RNG for winning best video performance, getting a lot of attention uh, for the past seven or so minutes. Moving on, my next shout out goes to Chaotic Rap Battles, AKA Garrett. He, he joined the community, he rejoined the community a while ago. Fuck, did I say re- I can't even fucking remember anymore. Congratulations to RNG for your win. Uh, getting a lot of attention these past seven minutes or so. Um, moving on, I'd like to give a shout out to Chaotic Rap Battles, a.k.a. Garrett. He rejoined the community uh, not too long ago and has been making just some of the most entertaining fucking battles, man. Uh, do yourself a favor. Check out Chaotic Rap Battles. They are energetic. They are fucking epic. They are funny in every possible way. So, yeah. Very excited to see what you do next, Garrett. Um, shout out to you. For our next category, we have best costume, and we have here presenter who's made a couple rap battle costumes, um, including Dune's very own Paul Atreides. Atreides? Atreides. I don't know which one. And also the Northman. Uh, it is Cause Fia. Take it away. Hi guys, I'm Cosphia. I started working on cosplay since 2016 and also recently started working in video production. I have worked for The Stipendium, Danball, JT Music, Freshy Canal of course, hopefully more to come. Anyway, today I have the honour to hand out the award for the best costume. The nominees here have been selected for their amazing work and craftsmanship on creating the perfect costume for their portrayal. The nominees are Fight Marker for Leprechaun. Cry for the Pyro. I don't care about the silent assassins, I'll turn your ass in the grass court. And blast back your attacks to make you disappear like it's mad. Like your girl in the bathroom left for dead man is tragic. Thought you had to get a pay into knocking tracks like an Chaotic Rap Battles, aka Garrett, for Jack Sparrow. Why is the rum always gone? I could be drunk and still teach you a lesson. Honestly, how do you expect to beat me when your ass can't even beat depression? Let's stress it, but I won't stop you this time if you decide to try suicide again. So just save us both the trouble and put that gun back to your head. Grassman for Springtrap. Always come back. The curse of our suit to leave you stuff to do that. But I'm not with dope because I'm trying to take me down. We'll be stuck here forever. It's each more distracting than all. Zolson for Indiana Jones. Wicked melt your face off, kid. You're so boring, I know art I could read. And as for this morn, why did it have to be drink? My Lego adventures are putting in a shame. Your triple A title gets beaten by an indie game. When a plane wreck was imminent, I ejected it will. You two should have done the same five seconds into your films. I'm repping the holy grail of movies without the pythons. You can sacrifice yourselves, not that you've met your idol. 
and Michael Stark for WD Gaster. Well, these are sort of the effects that human souls could deliver. All you can do is make the net reset their timelines on Twitter. With how far you've fallen, no boats or horses can save your skin. Goodbye, dream. Your journey's met in end. Yes, you can't pay to win. Iron, the winner is... Grumble, please. Grassman! Congratulations. Well done. One more time, congratulations to Grassman. That spring trap costume is so insanely impressive and really hoping we see more crazy stuff like that from Grassman this year. My next shout out is going to Garbage Gothic, who I think uh, recently has really come into their own in the community. Uh, it is so glad to see that after so many years of being for so many battles, M has begun making her own battles and they are very entertaining they are and a lot of fun and in general has become a more prominent member of the community it is so glad to see M kind of get the recognition and be a part of the community after all the amazing work that they've done so shout out to you M. for our next category we have the most improved and for this Realistically, there was only one person I wanted to get, and I really wouldn't budge on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between and outside, walk awesome movies. <coughs> Hello everyone, I'm Mwok, here to bring you the results of the most improved category. Learning and improving your craft has been a core part of the community and battle-making process for years at this point. It's an honor to shine a light on the creatives who have made the determined, successful efforts needed to develop their skills. The nominees are... Pixel Chris Chaotic rap battles. Don't be disrespecting this reckless text. I take out and fake you a straight aggression. Combat is always effective, and I'll give you an ass kick and you won't be forgiven. Theme Park Avenue. So I just saw Remy's Spider Man films and they were fine, but the J.K. Simmons character held something back this time. Now I'm sure some of you say, but Adam, he's meant to be comical, but his scenes don't work because his choices are illogical. Right? Grasman. Now let's compare this metal freak to the G-O-A-T You took a look at your own face and started to scream It's not the critical counts, but god damn that pizza That's no dropping bodies in Freddy's mouth Will you lose it's bear? Fight Marker Your mother's like, game you feel a bitch got 88 and 1 I might get shit when Jack talks, but no matter what he'll say I'm bound to hand scotch shots like copies of we play You make characters in bits for your friends to act around you To hide the fact that they all rather flex tape your mouth shut and just gamer. What should we call this bald freak? Hey, Ooh, baldy. Well, I'll call him handsome. Not funny, sorry. Whose game requires no effort to win? Yours. These visual novels are still doing more. All you do is talk, and you really do not stop. Fuck Quiplash. I'd rather play Job Job. And the winner is Fight Marker. Congratulations, Rocco. It's been a huge year for you, I'm sure. I got in contact with the other trio members to congratulate you on your win. It'll only be brief, but here's what they had to say. Uh, hey man, congrats on winning Most Improved. Uh, certainly deserve. Fucking crazy year for you, 2023. So, uh, and, uh, here's to an even crazier 2024, you know? Congratulations on winning Most Improved, Rocco. I'm so proud of you and how far you've come as a content creator. I think the way you've performed recently has been amazing, and I can't wait to see where you further your channel to. Goodbye! Alright, everyone. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the show. Good night. Congrats to Fight Marker on your win. You have had an insane 2023. And yeah, so did everyone else on the nominations board. So, you know, as one of the competitors, shout out to you all as well. But, specific shout out uh, to who Pixel Chris, uh, who I will be covering here, who had also an amazing 2023. Their jump in quality has been absolutely insane. They have made some absolutely hilarious battles. It is so great to see Chris come into their own uh, this past year. Very excited to see what they do next. And, you know, looking forward to all that. So, shout outs to you, Chris. For our next category, we have Best Newcomer. Uh, you know, 
best person who joined here in 2023. No, not much or a bit sooner. It's a bit of a weird technicality, but we don't need to get into all that. Anywho, for this category, we have someone who has also had, you know, just a wild 2023 for the community. Everyone, join me in welcoming. It's Nugget. Hi, I'm It's Nugget, and I'm going to be telling you who is the best newcomer. A newcomer is someone who is new to making rap battles in the rap battle community. And we have six of who we, six of who we think are the best in FRB. Your nominations are Core Kitten. Quarter. Wow. You're not just hurting ears, but giving brain damage. Computers trying to save her rises while your game's crashing. With all your loopy effects, you've been dropping toddler. Like you were trying to turn in abortion to the late basket. Leo Barky. Gave up with no coins, it's like you failed at pressing R, or at least a maiden hell, maiden held something like a bar. I'm raising farther from your art than you and family are apart. She made you food, that made you fool, that made you food and found a way to your heart. You Alchemy King. It'll soon be clear that your doom is near, but you never see shit with pruning shears. You'll be decapitated like Raj Hard by the salt bobbles head as a souvenir. Pennywise on a penny's budget is hardly bringing scary content. Sure, you may hate me, but look into my eyes, you think you can win a staring contest? Rosenthal. Well, if you want to get with a medic, then let this be your appointment. You took toys from the kids and Sydney's feelings to toy with. So they practice defense, but this bastard can't get it. All your ideals aren't grounded. Now that's astral projection. Thanos Quack. Hey, my name's Scooter. Says it on my shirt. If you mess with me, I'm gonna go berserk. Just built the rape and the sugar hit will be so cool. I'm going to space. Turn the space is out of school. And tame me an idiot. Get a walker, I'm really up in your flesh. Crawling the one who is executing the man in a witch costume. Out of all your stretchy heads, you're the one Alex should have dropped. You're so easy to be one flick of a switch and the Wi-Fi's off. And the winner is... Rosenthal. Congratulations to Rosa Thaw. I think you deserve it. You are probably one of the most talked about people in FRB this year. I think you were, since the start of this year, already uh, in the conversation for Best Newcomer. So congratulations. And a great win to Rosenthal. Excited to see what you do this year. Moving on to shoutouts. This is another kind of personal one, but I would like to dedicate this to Glitch Dude, uh, who I met with erb youtube poops and he was coincidentally interested in discord rap battles and from there it has been such a pleasure to have him be the audio engineer for our series he's so insanely talented so insanely hard working and he is behind a lot of why the best battles in the community sound as amazing as they do so thank you so much to glitch dude Moving on to our next category, it is our best non-1v1, and uh, this, is a, this is a nice, fun, interesting one in my opinion. I think this category is very, it's a fun one to shake things up. And speaking of shaking things up, we do not have one presenter to, you know, make sense for this kind of category. Uh, and we found a great pairing for this. Welcome Special Inquisitor Ryan and Triple Stabber. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan. I'm also Ryan. And he's Mario. And we're here to present the award for the best non-1v1 rap battle of 2023. This category recognizes the best battles that break away from the traditional format of two characters battling against each other. From diverse royales and surprise third party inclusion to same series duos, we've seen many battles that effectively subvert the structure of the medium in the preceding year. Here are the nominations. Sonic.exe vs Mandela Catalog by Gaming Plus 64. Nathan Drake vs Tintin by Freshy Canal.
Yuri vs me consuming key by Just Gamer. It's not fair, not fair, how you get to belittle me, even with that gross for you, the shortest temper I've ever seen. Forget who's your opponent, too ditzy to diss me. If only pissy missy could go missing just as quickly. God, Yuri, jeez, maybe you lay off the tea a bit. Don't you have a closet to hide in, little piece of shit? Scott the Walls vs. Jontron by Fight Marker. Now I'll admit your main show's pretty alright, but your other series, well, your main show's pretty alright. No beers at your funeral! Yeah, stop maybe drinking, but then I'd see you twice as angry in AA meeting. Barbie vs. J. Robert Oppenheimer by Michael Stark and Just Gamer. And they forgot about me? I've never seen stranger creatures in any of my operations. You're an abomination, and you a abomination. But my game rose from the ashes, like my little Pikmin boys, exploring the unique world that you almost left destroyed. And Komi Son vs. Wily Coyote by Rabbi. She's chicken for all that time, impressive. I don't even think that Renz is obsessive. Chuck dropped down, now your tunes are in the garbage. It's said it's all fixed, but this was over before it started. Break my silence, it's grating to hear you rap your bars. Peep the comic costume, you're overshadowed by Black Noir. And the winner of the best non 1v1 battle of 2023 is Sonic.exe versus Mandela Catalog by Gaming Plus 64. Congratulations, Patrick. Hell yeah. Congratulations to Gaming Plus 64 on his fourth win of the night. So fucking impressive, man. Great job. Next up, my next shout out is going to Raccoon Bro VA, aka Carrick, uh, who ever since he's joined the community has been a great help. He plays really every role. He is truly the Chris Pratt of the fucking community. And for that, uh, I would like to thank and appreciate him for being the everyman voice. We always need one. <laughs> Moving on to our next category, it is Funniest Battle. Replacing, I think, best meme uh, from previous years. And for this, we have one of the funniest personalities in all of Nerdcore, Game Boy Jones. What's good, y'all? Anime rapper Game Boy Jones here to present the award for the funniest rap battle of 2023. These five nominees had the best knee-slapping one-liners that had us bursting up laughing all year long. And the nominees are... Jeff Bezos vs. Spider-Man by ERB Obra. Leave my home, the robbers are running. No, no, I'll leave you all punished. Your theories aren't eerie, you got terrible parser. I'm the leader and I'll turn you to Peters for your parkers. My lips blocked. I feel sick on the way to this battle. I thought the cities are sick. Annoying Orange vs. O.J. Simpson by Fight Marker. You know Fuck you! Yes, Orange, I did it! And what are you gonna do about it? You're a fucking fruit, dude! I could kill you right now and you still wouldn't get clicks on you! Two out of viral vid raised into the top, you were sore, then everyone moved on to the next trend, but that's just clockwork, or Will Smith vs. Vincent Van Gogh by Legend57. I Nice Peter vs. Epic Lloyd 3 by Rosenthal. Uh, epic rap battles? More like pathetic crap battles. I'd get better history lessons. Shaft out of a meth and crack addled professor's ass after he went and had an expired bag of bad apples. Huh? Huh? Stop that wasn't that bars? And Uncle Ruckus vs. Uncle Iroh by Danny Friez. So look into yourself and ask the bigger questions. A voice like the milk in the character is what he's rapping. There's no luck. Fire sights like the police will go up. But I'll do that after I finish my roast duck. Welcome to the show. Tell me what this guy not have. Beef. Therapist. Job at Target. A dad. Guys, let's be real. The answer is so obviously Gex. Ooh, so close. See, the answer is actually a fucking job. And the award for funniest battle goes to... Will Smith vs. Vincent Van Gogh. Congrats, Legends 57. I'm sure to very little people's surprise, congratulations, Walk. What an insane fucking battle. So excited to see Legend 57 Season 2. And on that note of Legend 57, I'm going to give a shout out 
to Cole DeCole, who is uh, just a funny fucking guy who drew up Preston's hourglass for the world. Jesus Christ, Cole. Who also is a part of the FAC, F-A-C, Rap Battle Trio. So shout out to Fight Alan Cole as a whole. Three funny guys. Um, please give me more Yobio, bruh. I, I would love more Yobio, bruh. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to our next category. Our second to last category, Best Cypher Verse. And here we have another great Nerdcore personality. Please uh, put your hands together unless you are in a place where you cannot do that for Freest. What's good, everybody? It's me, Freest. They, them, one syllable rhymes with beast. I don't have to say the rhymes with beast part out loud if I'm just if I'm talking out loud because you'll hear it. Anyway, if you don't know me, what the hell? No, I'm just kidding. If you don't know me, uh, I work on a lot of Freshy Canal stuff as a writer and voice actor, and you'll also see me in other places in the community. You also might know me from my original music, which I do over on my channel. It's uh, gay and nerdcore as shit. Am I allowed to swear on this? I didn't actually ask if I was allowed to swear on this. It doesn't matter. I'm here to present the award for best cypher verse. Cyphers are like deeply personal to me because the first big nerdcore thing that I ever got involved in was a Schwabity cypher. That's kind of how I got my break. Um, the first video on my channel to hit 100k was a cypher. And then of course I get to do the, uh, the narration for the Fresh Canal cyphers. So cyphers are uh, kind of my shit and I love them a lot. Um, that said, it is my pleasure to introduce the nominees for best cypher verse and here they are. The nominees are Eric the Audible as Pig in the Passive Mob Cypher. Yeah, this ham rocks the whole lamp clock in my damn slop. No, I can't stop eating a man's bot or some yams, probably plants. Obvi, bitch, I cram cocks in a lamp flock and the lamp chops. They stand up, gets the grand hog. So scram up, protect these ham hogs. Little Flex as Casper in the Ghost Cypher. Horns are fly. Let the spirit provide you some guidance. Lifting you up high than the air landed. Put in the jinx and hijinks. Might be the bubbliest price. It's a lamb and a lime break. Face with the DV screen to the DVDs. And folks, are you even keeping up? The deceased, they need me to speak for them. I've been reaching each and free medium. Shimario as himself in the Asian cypher. Every week I've got a new running gag. There's a glow paper pack for the top and then bubbles and warnings and handfuls of flour and a fire and shots like an air war. What the fuck's an air war? And yeah, I don't make much of even that creep, but I'm still on the ground. I got that dedication, so therefore. Dad is cut off. Dilly as spy in the TF2 cipher. The alarms keep a lot of fucking guns with you, cause there's a spy and he's about to give you trust issue. Reaching your defense is not a second to replenish your house, so I will forget it. But baby, click your dramatic and you're next. Hey, and ultimate 145 as wrath in your favorite deadly sin. You fat fuck! Shut the fuck up! If I get shit, I do it all over you, fuck! Leave me the fuck alone! I'm on my fucking throne! Cause when I'm on the mic, I got the fucking flow! And the winner is. Little Flex is Casper in the Ghost Cyber. Congratulations to Little Flex, and uh, good job all of you. A great job to Felix for his third win of the night. Alright everyone, before we get to our final category, I have one more shout out to give and that is to TA Fox aka That Adorable Fox. They joined this community in the past year and have already done a lot of great stuff. Uh, they played Mekon for myself, Tifa Lockhart for Ryan, and Weiss for MGRB along with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Osaka for Osaka vs Scooter. Uh, they are so incredibly talented, uh, so incredibly fun to work with, such a great personality to have in our community, and uh, very excited to see what they uh, are doing next. Alright, everyone, that leaves us with our final category of the night, Battle of the Year. This is uh, the big one. We are down to our two finalists after a long and uh, rigorous tournament and I would again like to apologize for withholding the results for as long as I have. But without further ado, our final presenter of the night, and I'm so, so, so honored to say, please welcome from ERB, Epic Lloyd. <laughs> 
Hello, and now the moment you've all been waiting for. Me. <laughs> What's up? My name is Epic Lloyd, and I'm part of the Epic Rap Battles of History, and I'm proud to be here today to present the award for the fan-made battle of the year 2023. Now, as many of you know, this past week, we've had a 16 battle tournament raging on the interwebs, and we have whittled these 16 battles down to the winner. But at first, have a couple of quick announcements to make, and that is, we have some runners up. So, in fourth runner up, please congratulate with me, Freshy Canal with Amleth versus Paul Atreides. <sighs> yeah, quiet, quiet, quiet. In third runner up place, it's Special Inquisitor Ryan. I'm sorry, it's Special Inquisitor Rien. Hold on, I need a real quick, I need a confirmation. Versus Link by Special Inquisitor Ryan. Special Inquisitor Ryan with Mario versus Link. Sorry, Special Inquisitor. I don't pronounce words good sometimes. Moving on. Now, as you well may know, you can only have one winner in a rap battle tournament. And you can only have one battle of the year, 2023. One fan-made battle, you can only get one. Here's the two finalists. After much, much grueling effort, our two finalists are SpongeBob SquarePants versus Captain Underpants by Eddie FRB. <sighs> and Eric Andre versus, see what I tell you? Eric Andre versus Filthy Frank by Fight Marker. And the 2023 fan made battle of the year goes to. Eddie FRB! Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie FRB with SpongeBob SquarePants versus Captain Underpants is your 2023 fan made battle of the year. It was a close fought battle. 37 to 31 was the score. So thank you to all the contestants and thank you to you. Uh, big shout out to Just Gamer for putting all this together. And uh, in all seriousness, thanks you guys for watching. Appreciate you. And keep on doing what you do. Bye! Congratulations once more to Eddie rounding out the night with three wins. But also congrats to Rocco slash Fightmarker for making it to second. Congrats to everyone who was nominated for Battle of the Year. Congrats to everyone who was nominated for our award show tonight. Congrats to all the winners of the award show tonight. And thank you. Again, to all of our amazing presenters, thank you to everyone who helped me put together and support me while putting together the show. <laughs> thank you for you to watching the show tonight with me. And with that being said, have a great night, everyone. We'll see you another time. Bye.